You're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. Thank you. 
folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Blighters, aren't they?
fighters, aren't they? Well done! Blighters, aren't they?
gaslighters, aren't they? I'm so proud of you! I... I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed! You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant! Y yes Gemma. Sorry Gemma. <sighs> You saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that? of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. We can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. 
Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Shoot, they'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? It was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. I are still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time. Thank you. 